Hi guys, what is up and welcome to Stace Time with Stacyka. First of all, I just want to thank you all for subscribing, for deciding to be on this journey with me. So I do hope I continue to educate and entertain you. Now let me just jump straight into today's agenda and I'll be talking about five things I wish I knew before I started medical school or things I wish I did before I started medical school and you don't need to be in medical school to benefit from this so if you clicked on this video by accident and you were watching like oh wait I'm not a medical student no stay 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 <laughs> because you might learn a thing or two if you're still in high school or you are an undergrad just wanting to go to medical school or you haven't started university like i said still in high school or during your gap year or even if you are still in school i mean in university you might learn some things that can help you because some of these things i learned when i was in university not prior that's why these are things i wish i knew ahead of ahead of entering university so number one the thing I wish I did before I entered medical school was read more books. Like, I know it's not something that's so exciting for some people, but I used to read a lot when I was in junior high. So when I was 11, 12, 13, like I read the whole of the Rings trilogy when I was 11 or 12. It was a big heavy book, so it felt like a big feat. <laughs> but yeah, basically I used to read a lot. When I entered high school, it went down a bit, but I was still reading. But immediately I started university, I've been on a serious decline. Like, I really struggle to pick a novel and read, not because I don't want to. I think here, yeah, my I do have the interest, but my capacity to sit down and read into a book for a while has reduced a bit. But I do quite enjoy it, the few times I've actually read books while being a university student. Um, but the main main issue is that university medical school specifically since that's what i know and that's what i'll be talking about more it's really tough and my system we write exams literally every two weeks i made a whole video on that so you can check that out to understand it better <laughs> so yes i write exams every two weeks and it makes it difficult to pick a storybook and read while your kuma and clark is staring at you like you don't see me <laughs> like it's 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 actually quite difficult to read consistently even w once a semester it's difficult to manage that sometimes because if it's someone who takes a while to understand things you will struggle to find time to read a novel if that's what you really like doing so i really wish i read more in high school and before coming to university, I'm going to try to incorporate reading back into my schedule because I enjoy it. It's one of my things for this year that I want to do. So there's that. <laughs> but then, yeah, if you're not in university yet, and especially if you're not in medical school yet, try and read all the novels you want to read. Read them. Don't put them down and say, oh, I'm going to read it later when I have more time in university because I'm preparing for my high school exams. Like every two weeks i'm writing exam that that two week interval exams is even more than all i wrote in high school so <laughs> don't put books down read the second thing i wish i knew before i came to medical school was i wish that i knew or i wish that i changed my mindset with regards to how school is before entering university now high school and university are completely different especially if you are like me and you went to a boarding school especially a boarding school in ghana where you are a bit sheltered from the world so everything is different the whole environment is different discipline is there because you don't have to think about it they think about it for you there are times to eat people will tell you go to the dining hall at this time to eat go to school at this time to prep because you're going to, supposed to study and when you enter university it's completely different nobody's going to tell you anything so you have to think about your own stomach how you're going to eat <laughs> you have to think about when you're going to learn how you're going to manage your time nobody's going to stop and direct you and that's the mindset i wish i mean i knew all of this before i entered 
university but i didn't quite sit down to think it through and i would advise anybody who is ahead of entering uni to sit down to actually take like a book a paper i don't know write down resolutions goals talk to people who are already in university understand the stakes understand how stressful it might be understand that okay the way things are looking at if i really want to get good grades cons considering maybe how long it takes for me to understand certain concepts considering all the other things i want to add to my academic schedule perhaps some extracurriculars and things i want to do projects on the side i might have to adjust my schedules in this certain way nobody's going to tell me to do this or do that i might have to meal prep to save time i might have to um, I might have to set specific times like preps or decide maybe I want to learn this number of hours a week. Just these kind of things actually can actually help. I wish I did something like that ahead of coming to university to understand the course I'm going to do. So research into it, not just by looking at the internet, but actually talking to people who are already in it. Um, and also by, um, and by letting them help me understand and planning ahead of time, like creating not 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 a rigid schedule because those things actually don't work but something makeshift something like short-term and long-term goals which incorporates the whole idea of what university is about so when you get here you are not confused because the truth is you will be most of the time on your own i mean yeah you have friends and all of that but it's completely different from high school even the system grading system learning systems everything that um goes into your final grade is different so ahead of entering university ahead of starting university even if you've come to school and it's like oh this is my first week or this is my first month or my first two months you're still in the beginning you can still reach out and find out and see how best to understand your way because the things that when you move to a new level or to a new place or anywhere when you're moving from where you were previously to a new situation it's important that you understand how things go around there so that you are well equipped to do it better so yeah i wish i did more research into what i was going to do and i wish i spoke to more people to understand more perspectives when i first landed in university so that i'm not so close-minded in what i think is best and maybe what's the one person i spoke to think is best but then i have a wide array of options to help now the third thing i wish i did was build more skills yes i wish that ahead of starting university i had learned let's say i was learning the guitar i've been on a long hiatus <laughs> i wish that i took it more seriously at the time i guess i didn't i let other things take my time which well i wouldn't say are so important i mean they were but then i could have i could have still done it i could have still done it so i wish i created more time for this because university depending on the course you do especially if you're doing medicine can be quite demanding so it might be difficult to add on certain new things most of the time what you keep doing as extracurricular most of the time what you keep doing as extracurricular is what you already used to from um high school and you're just building on it and using that yeah yes yeah, so i wish i learned how to play the guitar i wish i learned other important skills like budgeting like financial literacy because the truth is in in, in high schools especially here in ghana nobody's going to take you through the real things you need to know about life i wish i knew more about how the market works i wish i knew i don't know just certain skills that might help me sometimes certain things like even learning how to properly use microsoft and excel um powerpoints those really really help you ahead of starting university because you will use them a lot so when you know that already you kind of come prepared and you don't really struggle as much so i think it's important that you try and find time especially if you're in high school to learn some certain skills and the fourth thing i wish i did before i entered medical school was i wish i researched more into learning techniques um evidence-based learning techniques in high school i used to learn by making my own notes from what the teacher says in class plus what i see in the textbooks i used to have really organized notes i used to use highlighters and markers and colored pens and all of those things like my notes were really good i even left my physics notebook for my physics teacher and he was using it to teach his students even my brother went to the same high school and met the teacher using my notebook to teach like my notes were perfect 
and because i enjoyed writing notes that way because i found it useful in high school and it was when i entered university particularly medical school i was moving along that same direction and it didn't help me here it didn't help me here at all i'm in my fourth year of medical school now and i wish that everything i learned in the past few weeks about learning techniques i learned when i first started university it would have made my life so much easier so much more efficient i would have saved so much more time but no i was busy writing pretty notes with colors <laughs> and i'm not saying you can't do that if you feel like it really helps you that's good i mean it did help me but then the thing is there are more efficient ways to study and sometimes we don't want to acknowledge this because we are more comfortable in where we are it took me a long time to change my mindset about this i had to watch a lot of videos read some articles before i understood that these ways of learning are more passive and the better way of learning is active recall i might do a whole video explaining all of this when i actually get the grasp of it i'm still trying to employ it and move out of my old system of learning but then you can find out more information on that on youtube on the internet i mean the internet is a repository of a lot of information you choose what to consume so look for the right kind of information on it proper articles guys <laughs> and Yes, yeah, so I wish I really wish I learned more about this. So if you are now starting uni, even if you're at any point of your stay in uni, look into that. If you're in high school, look into that. Look for evidence-based ways of learning. Because eventually when you start employing these kind of methods just little by little, you realize that you're going to up your game. And it will help you. It will help you be more efficient. That means you will need to learn harder but you're learning smarter. Now the fifth and final thing I wish I knew was to watch more medical school YouTubers. <laughs> now I know this doesn't seem so, I don't know, important, like life changing, but it really is because a lot of these things I've learned, especially this thing about learning uh, methods, learning techniques, active recall, I learned it from medical school YouTubers. I just, somebody just sent me a video to watch that, oh, watch this video. It was a day in the life of Karma Medic and I really enjoyed it. And I got sucked into that world of YouTube videos with medical students. So, um, Karma Medic, Ali Abdal, Elizabeth Phillips, I think, yes, and many others. And I've learned a lot about active recall, about learning methods. I've learned a lot about how medical school is in other places. And you realize that medical school is not as different when it um, when you move across different systems in different countries because at the end of the day the human body is the same. <laughs> like things might differ, things might differ a little, things might differ a lot. But then when you see what they do, how they study, it kind of helps you. Even in my small corner here in my third world country ghana <laughs> um, we are still making strides when you look at the standards there are some similarities there are some things that we are even better at there are some things that they are really good at so when you watch from them when you learn from them you get i don't know you, you just get a wider array of options you get more information and you get to pick and choose what works for you my whole thing about researching and learning more is that you are giving yourself more options because your mind is limited no matter how unlimited you think you are your mind is limited to what it knows so the more you expose yourself the more options you have and you are not just limited by this box but you know more things to do and that's why I wish I watched more of medical school YouTubers ahead because I have learned a lot of from them and, and I've been entertained a lot by them and inspired as well. And that's why my channel now is a bit more skewed towards that direction. Initially, that was part of the plan, but I just wasn't paying so much attention to that because, well, I started my channel when I was in lockdown, so there wasn't much medical school to document. Now that I'm in it, you'll be seeing more and more of that. <laughs> So yes, that's it. Those are the things I wish I knew before, the five things I wish I knew before I started medical school. And this is helpful if you're not going to medical school. This is helpful if you are still in university and you want some more information about how to make yourself more efficient. 
but these are some of the things that are really helping me right now yes yeah, so just know that it's not too late it's not too late to incorporate a book a semester so that you read more it's not too late to change your mindset to learn more about how your system works so that you adapt yourself accordingly and gain more information from others who have been in it already so we'll take away that high school mindset or your old mindset and get into uni it's also not too late to build certain extra skills whether you are still struggling with budgeting whether you're still struggling with understanding how um, the market works whether you're still struggling with understanding how money works and i keep talking about money a lot because really that's what makes the world go round <laughs> it's not too late to learn those extra skills it is not too late to learn about learning techniques that will better you it's never too late to start getting better and it's not too late to entertain yourself with your favorite medical school youtubers like me 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 please continue Con continue i love it that's why i'm on this app that's what i'm here for consistency <laughs> so yeah I think that's it yes and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i'll see you soon bye